So you're thinking of taking advantage of the strong seller's market. I get it. Why wouldn't you try and sell your house when things are selling so quickly and so high over list price? But the biggest issue, of course, is where do I go once I sell my home? Well, I have a couple of different options for you. Hey friends, it's Jessica with That Portland Life, and today I'm going to outline my top three things that you can do to take advantage of the seller's market without being homeless. Um, we've got other options, of course, uh, and we're happy to talk about those other options privately if you'd like to know what they are, but for most people, these three things are going to work great. So the first option, and this is the one that we're having the most success with and that we're using the most frequently, is to do an open-ended close date or sale subject to. Um, buyers just want to be in contract. They want to get their offer accepted and they want to know that they have a house. Um, if we let buyers know ahead of time that we can't close on your property until after you find something new, most buyers are going to write in a long close date and let us know exactly how flexible they can be. Uh, this gives us quite a bit of freedom to go and search for homes while your property is already pending. Um, technically, this option can give us an unlimited amount of time to search, but we do want to keep in mind that buyers could be impatient and they could back out of the contract. And the market might have changed by then, so we definitely want to be actively looking and writing offers if we're going to go this route. The second option is to negotiate a leaseback agreement. Once we have your property on the market, we let buyers know that you would like some number of days in the property after the close of escrow. We're very frequently seeing 30 to 60 day lease agreements being written for sellers. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, if we do choose an owner occupied buyer, their loan will only allow them to give 60 days of rent back plus our 30 days of escrow. So that gives us about 90 days to find and close on a new home for you. Third option is to look into getting a bridge loan. So there's quite a few companies and quite a few lenders right now that are offering short term loans so that you can buy something before you sell. Once you sell your property, you pay off that bridge loan and are just left with your normal mortgage. Um, these interest rates are going to be a little bit higher and sometimes they have some additional fees, but the nice thing about this is there's no timeline on it so you can buy something in however much time that it takes and then we'll put your home on the market after you've already moved in. Now you might be thinking that you're really ready to discuss selling your home. We've gotten these strategies to work successfully for multiple clients already this year. Having a good realtor in your corner is more than half of the battle in this crazy market. Um, so if you have questions about these three options, you want to talk about less popular options, you're thinking of selling and just renting for a while, we would really be happy to chat with you about all of the choices that you have. Um, feel free to send us a message, leave us a comment, or of course, reach out via phone. We're always happy to chat with you. Um, and make sure that you follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube so that you never miss a thing. If there's anything else that you need, we're always available to chat and we can't wait to talk to you soon.